Hello, I'm Audrey Noel, the director of the Johnson Controls Water Infrastructure Technology Team. We are part of a team of subject matter experts in water loss reduction strategies, utility metering, AMR, AMI systems, and sustainability. And I'm Jonathan Gunn. I serve as both a market manager and a project development engineer on the team. And hello, I'm Craig Hanna, and I'm blessed to be the engineering manager of this team. We know the concept of performance contracting may seem difficult to understand, and performance contracting may appear to be more complicated than some of the other purchasing methods. We would like to spend a few minutes discussing what is a performance contract, how your city or town, your utility, and your citizens will benefit from a performance contract, and why performance contracting is superior to the traditional bid and spec approach. Performance contracting was created in the early 1980s as a method of helping government entities to obtain important energy conservation measures, such as energy efficient heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems, automated control systems for that equipment, and energy efficient indoor lighting systems. Later, water conservation was included in performance contracting, primarily through the installation of low flow plumbing fixtures. The fundamental goal with performance contracting is to allow the reduction in energy and water expenses to pay for the project over time. The company that provides the performance contract, which is often known as an energy services company or ESCO for short, is obligated to both measure and verify that the projected benefits from the installed energy and water conservation measures are indeed being realized by the agency. And if not, the ESCO is required to either perform additional work with an amount equal to the difference or to repay the difference owed outright. Moreover, the total annual benefits must be equal to or greater than the total annual payments, which means that a performance contract must be budget neutral. Three other important protective measures are incorporated into a performance contract. The company that provides the performance contract must provide turnkey pricing and change orders are not permitted in a performance contract unless one is requested by the customer. If the company providing the performance contract makes a mistake when developing the project, it's solely their responsibility to correct the mistake. And finally, if the technology installed does not meet the performance standards as set forth in the contract, the company must either make the necessary improvements or make restitution. Johnson Controls sold its first performance contract in 1984. Some 15 years later, in 1999, we were developing a traditional energy conservation measure performance contract for a small city in North Texas. One day, the city manager asked if he could speak with our account executive. He said, Joe, I understand what you're trying to do. If I install new energy efficient HVAC equipment, a new control system for that equipment, and if I replace these old lighting fixtures with new energy efficient ones, I will save money on my utility bills, but that's not where I'm hurting. I have a system that is filled with old, inaccurate water meters, and I'm losing water and sewer revenue every day. I don't have the funds available to replace those water meters. I can't raise water and sewer rates, and I cannot pass a bond. Is there something that Johnson Controls can do to help me? And like a good salesperson, Joe knew to say yes to our customer. The concept of using a performance contract to fund both water and wastewater infrastructure improvements was created as a result of that one conversation and Johnson Controls created an entirely new industry. Since that first water meter and mobile AMR system project way back in 1999, Johnson Controls has developed, installed, and commissioned more than 130 AMR and AMI system projects across the U.S. and Canada. We have installed over 1.3 million water meters and hundreds of thousands of electric meters, natural gas meter indexes, and leak noise loggers. 
Johnson Controls prides itself on being vendor neutral. And you can see that we have installed both mechanical and static water meters from most every manufacturer. Our team has received factory product training from every water meter manufacturer that we have installed. And we truly appreciate this graphic because it shows the true breadth of our experience in AMI system installation. You can see that we have installed AMI systems from all the major providers. We know the relative strengths and weaknesses of each AMI system. If your utility is not ready for an AMI system, well, that's fine too. Our experience with mobile AMR systems is equally broad. So how does our program work? After you have selected Johnson Controls to develop a performance contracting project, we generally need between three and four months to complete a detailed engineering study for most utilities. After we meet with your staff to determine what items should be included in the scope of work, we will work with you to obtain an extract from your utility billing system. One of those services that we provide for you is to audit that billing system extract and make certain that every account is being billed correctly. And Jonathan, would, would you please tell us more about our process? Absolutely, thank you, Craig. So next, we will have a series of vendor neutral workshops to help you select a water meter, AMR, AMI system, automated leak detection system, and customer engagement portal, among other things. Once selected, we will test a statistically valid random sample of two inch and smaller water meters by removing those meters from service, installing the new water meters of your choice, and shipping the old meters to a testing lab that is both NIST and ISO certified. Some of our competitors choose to use a portable meter tester to avoid the expense and the effort of removing the existing meter from service, but we know from experience that there are many potential sources of error when using a portable meter tester, and both you and Johnson Controls need to have a high level of confidence in the test results. Your return on investment depends on it. At the same time, we will physically survey all water meters three inches in size and larger. This helps us to determine if the water meter is properly sized and typed for the application, if the meter can possibly be tested for accuracy, if the meter is obsolete, and if the water meter is installed correctly. Next, we will perform accuracy testing on those large meters which are able to be tested, and we may install data loggers on two inch and larger meters that are improperly sized or typed. This will allow us to calculate the benefit from meter sizing and typing, which is a service that only Johnson Controls can provide. In the midst of all the meter surveying and testing, We'll also develop traditional energy conservation measures, wastewater upgrades, and other facility improvement measures, in addition to arranging for project financing. We'll also determine the operational and maintenance benefits to be realized from the implementing the scope of work. And we'll hold additional workshops with you to determine how you wish for us to measure and verify that the project benefits are being realized. We'll have regular meetings with your staff to review our findings and provide you with updates on our progress. Near the end of the detailed engineering study, which is sometimes referred to as an investment grade audit, we'll meet with you to review the final scope of work, the costs, benefits, and the business case. Once you're satisfied with the project, we'll present the project to your council or board for approval. We will then enter into a contract with you to execute the scope of work. We know that every utility is unique, which is why we work closely with you to develop an effective public outreach program. The following is a short video that we produced for one of our customers that explains how our program works and how it benefits the people who live in that city. There's a device in your home that most people never pay attention to until you have a water leak or get a surprise bill from the utility. It's your water meter. And in our community, it's showing its age. We're not alone. Most cities across the country are in the same predicament. They're swapping out meters and embracing new AMI. And now, so are we. Our city is moving ahead with exciting upgrades. And in the future, 
will all benefit from the improved city infrastructure that attracts new business and most importantly, jobs to our city. Upgrading old water meters to AMI will mean more accurate billing. Bills will come on a monthly basis instead of quarterly, which fits better into most people's budgets. The data will be collected throughout the day using a wireless network, eliminating those confusing estimated readings. It also eliminates manual readings, so in the future, meter readers won't need to come onto your property. Do you ever jiggle the toilet handle, stop it from running? Well, leaks are costly. You probably don't realize just how much money you're flushing down the, well, you know what I mean. An AMI network enables notification about suspected leaks. So once notified, you can stop the leak before you get a high water bill. And since you waste less water, you're preserving our natural resources. The technology also detects and prevents water theft. Instead of you and me bearing the cost of unauthorized use, the system ensures everyone pays a fair share. From the local government's perspective, the upgraded technology helps the water utility run more efficiently, making our tax dollars go further. And there's one more benefit. The wireless AMI network is a smart city communication platform. In the future, it can enable technologies such as network streetlights, municipal parking systems, smart trash pickup, and more. Our city is partnering with Johnson Controls on the project. They were selected because they have a commitment to the community. And they have the expertise, helping more than 150 water utilities around the U.S. upgrade their infrastructure. How will we pay for this? It will be funded within the existing city budget at no direct cost to taxpayers. The upgrades will generate savings that will pay for the improvements over time. And those savings are guaranteed by Johnson Controls. Upgrading our water utility catapults us into the future with technology that allows us to become a smarter city today and ready for tomorrow. Performance contracting offers many benefits when compared to other procurement methods for government entities. One of the most noticeable differences is that you have the freedom to choose your future. You choose the equipment, software, services, technology, etc., that work best for you and that you desire. Through a performance contract, you can be freed from accepting whatever the lowest bidder may offer, so long as there is enough project benefit and or capital contributions to pay for those solutions. As we mentioned a moment ago, Johnson Controls leads with education. We know how truly busy you are with day-to-day -day operations, with very limited staff, and that's why we offer vendor-neutral workshops on water meters, AMR and AMI systems, automated leak detection systems, customer engagement portals, and other technologies. We also educate beyond the technology as we prepare you for what is to come after your preferred technology is implemented. We can provide you with a comprehensive change management program to refine your existing processes and procedures, and we can provide you with a customized public relations campaign to successfully market your project to the general public. We've mentioned this a few times already, but uh, we want to emphasize it once more. Johnson Controls is vendor neutral. We will never purposely promote one provider over another because we know that every utility is different and has unique needs and challenges. Simply put, what works well for one utility may prove very challenging to another. JCI has installed almost every mechanical and static water meter on the market, and we have installed almost every reputable mobile AMR and fixed network AMI system. We know the relative strengths and weaknesses of each system, and we are here to share that invaluable knowledge and experience with you, our customer. Johns Controls is not only vendor neutral, we also provide a budget neutral solution with performance contracting. The total financial benefit from the improvement measures that we installed must, equal, uh, must either be equal to or greater than the total annual payments to the lender. Moreover, if you have capital reserved for a future purchase that is included in our project, that capital can be used to buy down the project. With other procurement methods, it's a common tactic to submit a proposal that is extremely cost competitive, but will only marginally meet your needs. 
Once a contract is signed, the vendor will then submit a series of change orders in order to give you the system that you actually desire. Those change orders serve to dramatically increase the overall cost of the project, and those cost savings that you anticipated from using one of those other procurement methods will never be realized. With performance contracting, a change order is not permitted unless your agency initiates one. This is one of the reasons that a performance contract features turnkey pricing. We believe that surprises are only good for birthdays. And with a performance contract, you know exactly what the project will cost because the enabling legislation requires it. We are human, and despite our best efforts, we do make mistakes. However, your agency does not have to pay for our mistakes under a performance contract. And Craig, you had a quick story you wanted to share. Yeah, I did. Thank you, Jonathan. You know, many years ago, I developed a water meter and mobile AMR system and automated leak detection system project for a city in Kentucky. And there was a large water meter that was improperly tight for the application, which means that the utility was losing much build revenue. The entire water meter setting needed to be reworked to fit the correct meter. And moreover, the city was also using a galvanized steel feeding trough for a water meter vault, and that really needed to be replaced with an appropriate meter vault and lid. I forgot to include the cost of the new vault and lid in the project, but because the project was sold through a performance contract with turnkey pricing, Johnson Controls was able to provide the new vault and lid to the city at no cost to them. One of the best things about a performance contract is that the system performance is financially guaranteed. If something does not work to the level specified in the contract, Johnson Controls must make your agency whole. While we do not like paying shortfall, it does happen occasionally, and that should give you great peace of mind. Another example that I would like to share is from one of our customers in Florida. Uh, we had a customer that was installing a Wi-Fi cloud to cover the city. The customer wanted to increase efficiency and convenience through the installation of smart parking pay stations in their downtown district. The customer selected a pay station vendor who promised that the transaction data would be communicated through the newly installed Wi-Fi network. Unfortunately, the pay station vendor could not configure the units to communicate through the Wi-Fi network, and we had to install units that had cellular radios instead. Johnson Controls decided to pay the monthly cellular subscription fees for each of those pay stations for the length of the contract term in order to make our customer whole. Now that you know more about performance contracting and have a better understanding of the many benefits that it provides, you may be asking, how does one get started? What are the next steps to take? Well, the answer to this question depends on where you live. Some states, such as Tennessee, Oklahoma, and New Mexico, have a list of vetted and approved performance contracting providers, and you can select Johnson Controls to develop your performance contracting project. Other states, such as Texas, have a cooperative purchasing agreement, and you can select Johnson Controls for, that, for your project if your agency is a member of that cooperative. If neither of those options are available, however, your agency can issue either a request for proposal for a performance contract or a request for qualifications for a performance contract. We'd be happy to provide you with an RFP, RFQ template to use. Just send an email to us at bluewater at jci.com and we will respond to your request promptly. There is practically no limit as to what may be included in the scope of work of a performance contract. Basically, anything that conserves energy, water, and wastewater can be included. Systems, services, and software that increase staff efficiency, as well as any items that decrease operational and maintenance expenditures can certainly be incorporated into a performance contract. Everyone knows that costs only increase over time. So if you have a planned expense in the future, such as for improvements at a water or wastewater treatment plant, those improvements can be made now and funded over time through a performance contract. I know this slide looks extremely busy and that's intentional. The items that you see on this slide represent just a fraction of the improvement measures that Johnson Controls has installed at cities and towns across North America. Johnson Controls has an enormous breadth of solutions in our tool chest and we can assure you that this slide will 
only get busier in the coming years as the improving coverage of LoRaWAN, LTEM, cellular, and NBIoT cellular networks makes smart city concepts and internets of things device support a reality. We understand that your state may not have the enabling legislation for a performance contract. And we acknowledge that a performance contract may not be the preferred project funding vehicle for every agency. In that case, you can still take advantage of all the specialized knowledge, expertise, and experience that Johnson Controls provides, but through different procurement methods. If you're interested in an alternative procurement method, let's open a discussion. Send an email to us at bluewater at jci.com and let's talk about how we can work together to achieve your goals. Thank you for watching and please let us know how we can help your agency conserve energy, water, and wastewater. We would like to give your utility staff those critical tools that are needed to become more efficient and we'd like to help your utility reduce both operational and maintenance expenditures. Please send an email to us at bluewater at jci.com and let's get started on the pathway towards sustainability. Thank you.